Hello everyone! The topic for today's video is lower limb dressing technique for amputation. This is what we will learn today. Number one, purpose of the intervention. Number two, the intervention procedure. Number three, grading. Number four, precaution. Number five, evidence. And number six, conclusion. The purpose of this intervention is to provide guide and facilitate independence in activity daily living and self-care through training of skills for daily functioning and advice on adaptations and technology. Next is the intervention procedure for lower limb dressing technique for amputation. Step 1. Sit on a sturdy chair with knee flat to 90 degree. Step 2. Orient hand to face the correct direction. Step 3. Scrunch hand so that the pants leg can easily thread client's leg through. Step 4. Cross the non-affected leg over the affected leg. Step 5. Position pants pull as close as possible to the non-affected leg and pull pen up to the side. Step 6. Put the non-affected leg down. Step 7. Insert the affected leg into the remaining hole and pull them over the thigh of the affected leg. Step 8. Either stand up to pull out or lean side to side to pull pen over the client bottom. And lastly, you're done! The grading technique for this intervention is by increasing the duration of training. According to Pediatry et al. 2013, 8 hours of training with 5 to 8 treatment sessions is recommended to master control and use of the prosthesis for daily living. There are few precautions that needed to be noted before conduct this intervention. Number 1. Using a sturdy chair or wheelchair. Number 2. Clients are advised to keep clothing within easy reach and keep adaptive equipment set up and within reach. Number 3. Support the feet or foot on floor or some other sturdy surface to avoid loss of balance. Number 4. Clients are advised to maintain the body in the upright and midline position during the task. And lastly, the therapist usually is positioned on the affected side or in the midline or in the front of the client. Next is evidence. According to De Rosende Salerio et al. 2016, in people with lower limb amputation, independence in self-care activities is significantly associated with higher rates of survival after 6 months of rehabilitation and prosthetic use, and predict a good walking ability. The researcher also conducted a study on 52 adults with lower limb amputation who require assistance in self-care. The intervention was carried out were individual, 5 times a week, lasting approximately 45 minutes for each session. There was a significant improvement in barter score dressing which the p-value is less than 0.001. The intervention was successful for 61.5% of the participants. 
to summarize today's topic, dressing is one of the components in self-care activities. Thus, individuals with amputation require proper dressing technique. Dressing activity can also be able to promote independence in amputee clients. There is research that suggests that increasing in the frequency of training can improve the client ability in self-care. However, both of the therapist and the client should be aware that there are a few precautions that must be taken before carrying out the intervention. These are the references for this video. That's all from me. Thank you.